up everybody welcome back to our channel we are travel unfiltered if you are new here we would love it if you would join our community and to hit that subscribe button below yeah. if you are joining us again hello welcome back we are so happy to have you here it is just so cool to see that subscriber count grow like one by one yeah um and super thankful we we just hit over 100 subscribers mm -hmm. we're at like 110 which again in the grand scheme of things like that's not that many people but at the same time it is so yeah. so we're thankful to have so you much. here and yeah. we love that you're following along on our journey with us so we just got to edinburgh and we checked into our hotel and we walked around a little bit and mm -hmm. oh my gosh we're already like mind blown <laughs> by everything here I just i'd think, move here <laughs> oh my gosh should i move here <laughs> um yeah it's just insane it's cool like these buildings in the castle and like first impression it's perfect yeah. so cool it's so cool yeah and the weather's like cloudy but still almost warm mm -hmm. like not warm in the sense of like oh yeah you can just wear a t-shirt and pants or whatever but like i thought it was going to be a lot colder so i'm thankful that it's not um but yeah so we have a bunch planned for this because i love like medieval stuff i love castles so this is like a wet dream for me um so we have a another harry potter walking tour we did a studio tour in london and a walking tour in london so those two there's another walking tour here and that's going to be tomorrow and then we're going to go visit Edinburgh Castle and see the inside of that. That's going to be really cool. And then we're probably just going to like do some sightseeing. And then on Saturday, we have a Highlands tour. We're going to go up to Loch Ness. So I'm super stoked for that. That's going to be so cool.
um, decided to book a last minute trip to Glasgow because it was only like a 50 minute train ride from Edinburgh, which is wild to me. I thought they were so far apart, but. It literally took us less time to get from Edinburgh to Glasgow as like it took us less time to do that than it did to just get from one part of London to another. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay. Wild. Very cool. <clears throat> but um, we just wanted to see as much of Scotland as we could. So yeah, we don't really know what we're doing. We're kind of just walking around and seeing what there is, what perhaps is here. Um, yeah. Beautiful day. Yeah. Which is unlike weather in Scotland from what we've been told that there's <laughs> not really a cloud in the sky and there's sun so it's kind of crazy but we love it so we figured we would take advantage and um, do something outside and walk around Glasgow and see what there is to do so yeah we leave we got here at like a little before 10 and we leave a little before 9 yeah. so we're gonna be here all day So we are currently in the Scottish Highlands and we booked like a day trip to the Scottish Highlands and Loch Ness from Edinburgh and yeah so we're really excited it is absolutely gorgeous up here it's and crazy like yeah. seeing all of the lochs and the mm -hmm. mountains and all of that is 
It's freaking beautiful. Yeah, like all the old like buildings and old stone structures from like the 13, 1400, stuff like that. It's really cool. And I think it's a little bit cooler to us right now because when I booked this, I thought I booked it for today. I actually booked it for next Saturday. <laughs> so <laughs> it is kind of a stroke of luck that we were able to even get on this to begin with. Very, very lucky. <laughs> we very lucky that yeah. we were able to get on this. Yeah. And So that's my bad. I'm not too sure what the company's name is. We'll insert it. Yeah, because shout out to right, them. They right here. Were, right here. They were so accommodating. They were yeah, like, super they felt helpful. so bad that we booked the wrong day. And they were like, we're going to do everything we can to get you on mm -hmm. this tour. You know, like, yeah. so they were awesome. So shout um, out so to shout them. Shout out to them. We'll insert their name right up here. And yeah. uh, if you're ever in Edinburgh and you want to do this tour, we highly recommend. Yeah. We haven't even done all of it. And it's already <laughs> been so cool. It's already been so cool. Like, we um, have a, a cruise on Loch Ness as well as visiting a castle that's in that area so yeah very excited for that that's gonna be so cool yeah but we're stopping now to grab a bite to mm -hmm. eat and then heading back on the road yeah. definitely a long day we're definitely tired right uh, we've had a long <laughs> week so far but it's been totally worth it straight out of a dream is amazing it's incredible yeah especially um, edinburgh like yeah. it's just a place that is unlike anything else that we've ever been to mm -hmm. it is just i don't know how many of you guys are harry potter fans but it literally just feels like you entered into like a magical other dimension and just like the architecture there and the i don't know the pubs and 
all of it is just yeah. it was so so freaking cool they like did, we they, can't wait yeah. to go back we yeah. <laughs> that's definitely a place that we were like we, yeah. need, to, we need to go again we right need to right make it a point to go again and mm -hmm. so a return trip is already on the list yeah like edinburgh is amazing the scottish highlands are amazing loch ness mm -hmm. is amazing glasgow was cool it was just like an like it was really cool yeah don't get me wrong like i don't yeah. want to say anything bad about it but it was just like another european city yeah you know? like it, was, like, it was good but compared to like edinburgh and yeah. places like that it's kind of hard to compete yeah so loved it scotland is amazing i think we definitely did more of scotland than we thought we were going to yeah so and i wish we would have had a little bit more time in edinburgh yeah. like i know that people are like oh you can do the whole thing in one or two days and that's true but i really liked it and yeah. i wanted to spend more time there so yeah. i think that was hard because like we walked around a lot and we saw a lot and we mm -hmm. got to do a lot mm -hmm. and all of that but i just feel like there was so much more that i'm like I could spend so much more time just sitting here and yeah. watching and looking and I don't know. It was just yeah, awesome. I think we're building our ideal European vacation and Edinburgh and Amsterdam are the top two at this yeah. point for me. So yeah. We um, also made some really cool did. friends doing it, did, during yeah, that yeah. tour and that was just like a cherry on top. Mm -hmm. We've definitely had a hard time making friends in Spain. Yeah. Um, and I think we've kind of we're at a point where we're like, is it us? Like, do we suck? Do people just yeah. not want to be our friends? Is like, it me? Am I the problem? And I definitely yeah. think we do share some of the blame because we don't do the best at like putting ourselves out there. Yeah, and, you yeah. Know, it's hard. All that. In, it's hard in Spain, though. Yeah, but like we made friend. Uh, we met some friends at the cauldron that we did mm -hmm. our like cocktail making class yeah, at that was cool and they were from denmark denmark yeah and They're danish they were super cool and super friendly, friendly and we got to talk to them and we like we hung out with them essentially for like two hours mm -hmm. so that was yeah. really cool and then yesterday we pretty much spent all day with our new friends from uh switzerland yeah. hannes and ariana yeah they were super cool mm -hmm. and it was just it was awesome. Awesome. It was like a really, I think that's what made Scotland better. Is yeah. We just got to like, you meet cool people. Mm -hmm. And I'm a firm believer, especially now that an experience is good, but I think it's better with people to share it with. Yeah, absolutely. So, and like the people that we met in Scotland, the people who were working places, the people who like that we met on the tours, all of these things, they were so nice. Yeah. And that was really awesome too. Mm -hmm. It was like the cherry on top that they were just so kind to us and, and they were just so kind to us and it was yeah. really nice because a lot of times as an American traveling abroad these days, they yeah. look at you and they're like, oh. Yeah. Uh. Um, yeah, so let us know your thoughts on Scotland. Have you been? Have you not been? What did we go? miss? What so do we that miss? We can yeah. Make sure we go back and Yeah, tell <laughs> us that. tell us places that we need to go next time. Yeah. Leave a comment. But thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Please leave a like on the video. It goes a long way. Yeah. Um, join the community that we got building. It's right now, a little bit over 100 subscribers, which we'll say it every video. It's not that much, but to it's us it is. It's a lot for us. And so, don't forget to follow us on social media. Those will all be linked down below in the description box. And can't wait to see yeah. what we do next. Stay tuned for Iceland, baby.